Good morning. So I want to talk a little bit about Reiki. A lot of people are hearing about it and hearing the word maybe for the first time, or they're getting interested in energy work and the different electromagnetic fields in the body, and they're learning and discovering uh, this energy healing. <laughs> so I thought I would go just a little, little bit deeper into the word, what it means, and why it's important to utilize this life force energy that we all have. Everybody has access to it. Yes, there's Reiki masters and pr practitioners, just as myself. We get attuned. And in our attunement, we um, it's like opening up channels to be a better uh, conduit for the energy for our clients, for those that we're helping. So there's a process that we go through, lots of training and understanding of what Reiki is and having our own personal attunements done. So that way we can help others. And um, so I want to go in a little bit. What is Reiki? When you break down the word, Re means universal and Ki is life force energy. And that makes the word Reiki. <laughs> now, Reiki was discovered back in the early 1800s. And I hope I don't mispronounce the name, but Mikayo Usui is the uh, one who discovered Reiki. He had, um, from what I understand, a life-threatening illness. He was pretty sick. During that time, he had a spiritual awakening that led him to led him to a Zen monastery where he studied and trained further and realized this life force energy has an effect on our physical body and our emotional energetic body. We, we have a, an electromagnetic field around us. That is our aura. And that is connected to our physical body. So I think that's fascinating. I always just kind of pause and freeze and just get really excited and lit up about that fact. Like we are so connected deeper to the life force energy around us and what we realize we're connected to everything. We all have energy. Our bodies resonate at um, a different energy than nature, plants, trees, animals, um, even the, the different things within our body all resonate at a different frequency. Our bones resonate differently from our blood, from our cells, from our organs. Everything has its own resonation. The beautiful thing about Reiki energy is it can um, envelope all of that and it and it knows the different frequencies that tune in with these different um, aspects in our body with our bones, our energy field, even our mind's energy. It's, it's, it's really amazing. And I could go deep and further into that, uh, maybe in another video, but I just wanted to touch on a little bit of the backstory, a little bit of the history. You can look up his name and read more about his beginnings. Um, I do want to talk about the different energy meridians within us. We have many different energy points inside of our body. The seven main ones that we use physically is our crown chakra. It's located right up here <laughs> on our crown. And that connects us to our spiritual connection, our higher self-knowledge, our intuition, our spirit guides. Um, it helps us in meditation and um, you know brings that spiritual wisdom to us. Um, the next one is our third eye, which is located right here. <laughs> so the third eye is located right here. And that is connected to our intuition, our psychic abilities, the imagination, and having a nice, clear, open third eye helps with all of that. It helps with our own inner wisdoms and our own intuition. The other uh, chakra located in our body is the throat chakra and that um governs over our speech our communication um self-expression even the ability to feel confident to use your voice and speak your truth that comes from right here so if that is not balanced or it's blocked you may find yourself having a hard time express expressing yourself and um feeling heard and even feeling validated 
So that's an important one as well. Our heart chakra is located literally by the heart space and that governs the self-love, our balance, our energetic, emotional balance, um, our self-compassion, love in general. And the heart chakra is like a bridge to, it connects to our upper chakras and also our lower chakras. So if if ever you have a few minutes and your whole system is feeling off, if you just gave a little bit of love and meditation and uh, calling all the universal energy life force into your heart space, um, that I feel for me, I feel like that is a quick system reboot if you're short on time because the heart chakra is a bridge for the other ones. Um, the solar plexus right under right at the split of the ribs is the next chakra and that is in charge of your personal power your control your self-esteem and your will so if this one is imbalanced or blocked you're going to feel like you don't have any personal power so that's another one they're all important but just when they function you're going to be on game you're going to be confident you're going to know your abilities. And when it's blocked, you may feel like um, like, you, like you've lost your own inner power, that, that fire maybe. And the sacral is right around the womb space. And that uh, governs our emotional state, our creative energy, our sexuality, pleasure, the nurturance, kind of that mother womb space and and it's not just a feminine or masculine thing it's our womb space like um sacral even from from men or males or whatnot it's not a gender thing it's just nurturance how do we nurture um like i said it doesn't have a feminine or masculine i don't feel like it has feminine or masculine attributes it's just nurturing right it's kind of like a soulful human thing we nurture things how to take care of things including yourself so that's really important too the root is located right where the end of the pelvis is your tailbone area like all that that grounding where you sit on your sit bone <laughs> that is our root chakra and you just um, I don't need to show you <laughs> that um, governs our our survival mode, our instincts, feeling grounded, security, stable. That is the root chakra. So when you're working with Reiki um, to create balance between all of those, it, it gives you more of a whole self balancing. And also, like I said, these chakras are tied to different emotions. So if you're feeling like you're not being heard, no one's understanding you, if you work on your throat chakra, that can help you in your mindset as well. It can help strengthen that up and give you that power. And um, another thing is you can clear these chakras with um, your very own, oh, what is that word? Intention setting. Intention setting is so powerful. You can move energy with your intentions. And that's just another magical thing of energy. Um, one more thing, well, there's many things, but another thing about Reiki is it, it's not bound by the laws of time and space. It, it can be everywhere. It's everywhere. Like it can, I can do distance Reiki sessions, um, using my proxy, which is just a board of a body layout. And I put the intentions of whomever I'm sending the energy to, and it, it goes to them. It's intuitive and it, it knows exactly where to go. And that's important to note is that Reiki doesn't have the same laws as physical time and space. So I think that's beautiful. And that's why you can do distance uh, Reiki sessions with your practitioners, or you can do in-person sessions as well. When I do uh, in-person sessions, I use many different tools. I use crystals. You can see in the back, I've got my Reiki tuning forks. I have the weighted ones. Um, the weighted tuning forks are in a resonance that match up with acupressure points in the body, the energy points. So they resonate directly over, or you can gently touch on those acupressure points. So uh, kind of like what they use in acupuncture, the same little energy points. So I love using that. They have Reiki tuning forks that are not rated. 
that I do want to get because they work with the etheric body field that um, our aura. There's many, many names for it. And I usually get tongue tied with them all. Your bubble, your special, unique energy field, right? from the body outward. So that's what the non-weighted weighted tuning forks work great for, just to break through all of that energy field with sound vibration. Sound is very healing. But um, that's another video too. I could go on and on. I just get so excited about energy healing. So I wanted to share a little bit about Reiki with you. And um, I hope some of that resonates and makes sense. Um, I do. I don't like labels, but I do deal with uh, adult ADHD. So you're going to see that often. I'm going to squirrel on you, but I have a lot of information to share. So that's how we're going to do it. Um, I will see you guys in another video. Thank you for stopping by.